we got a video today. We're doing rear shock absorbers. <gasps> I can't believe what I'm seeing. Yep, we got my factory air shocks. Definitely factory. They come with the factory ones come with the studs. I'm gonna see if I got a nut to fit on that. If not, I'll have to wait. Um but yeah, I should be able to put these in in about uh, an hour or so. Yeah. Man, I can't wait. The uh, thing I noticed about these, these are really soft. And so all I need now is uh, get the air compressor kits. And if their air hoses do not fit in this, I'm going to order the ones for the factory system. And then we'll just uh, splice them together with some like air fittings or whatever. I'll make some like quick disconnect or something like that. But uh, yeah, we got factory air shocks. I'm gonna see if I got some nuts to fit those and we'll put them on. Okay, so the hardware for the rear shocks um, works with this, the, uh, at least the nuts do. Gonna get Pepsi. Back the car around and lay down a mat. We'll be good to go. So I got the spare out. Pretty easy. Gives you like a million times the room. So here's our Monroe we're going to take out. And here are the studs up here. They're actually fairly easy to get to except for this one up here. That's why they give you those aftermarket studs. So yeah. We'll take them out and uh, put the new one in. The only reason why I'm not going to do full depth on this is because, uh, well, you saw the last few videos, our videos last year, right? The shocks before. And no, these really don't lift the vehicle up. They, uh, some can, as labeled on one of the, uh, uh, things, but, uh, that I read. The Gabriel shocks of the kid. But, uh, yeah, take them out and put the air shocks in. So here's the <coughs> Monroe. Compared to this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're about, they're the same length, so. Yeah, I'll go put this one in now. Obviously got the driver's side in. She's tightened down, except for the lower one. I'm going to tighten it when I uh, lower the vehicle. But yeah, no more Monroes. Well, no more of those. The brand's fine. But damn, look at this thing. Sexy. Alright, no chit chat. Ugh. Bye bye. Oh, and what's so sweet is the hardware that you use to attach that with. The nuts fit on this. Fit on these threads, so. That's nice. And what I love about these is they have the studs and they don't have to fight with a stupid bolt and nut. So yeah, let's put these in. Wow, look at these beauties. I went ahead and tight, hand tightened those, or tightened them snug with the little wrench, not the impact. Got that one in, they're all tightened up real nice. Went in much smoothly. Smoother. Now all we need is an air compressor kit, and I'm going to order one when I get my next paycheck. And then when I get my credit card, we'll order the front shocks and the other air compressor. And uh, man, this thing will be riding smooth. Cool. Looking good. Looking like a factory. Now all we need back here is. Uh, New sway bars and new leaf springs. Leaf springs are going to be cheap. They're going to be about 80 bucks a piece from Ford. So we'll get a new set. I'll have to get a torque wrench and a breaker bar for these and deep well sockets. Anyways, I'm going to put the uh, take, or take all my tools out and put the spare tire back up and we'll take it for a test drive. <sighs> Another Pepsi. This was actually a one Pepsi job for me. Um, judging by the air shocks, the way they look, this thing definitely needs to sit up about an inch or two higher. We'll take care of that. 
Let's go for a test drive. I'll set up the Panasonic on the dash. I do, I do apologize if that uh, lens is really nasty. I didn't bother to uh, clean it because I'm in a hurry. Take this for a quick test drive and then uh, head back home so I can take a shower. God, that might actually be a lot, lot smoother. I got my wallet. Wow. We just need to add some air. Gigantic trailer that weighs his F2 F350 down. I'm like Jesus, dude. You know, this might I think this is actually a lot smoother. Yeah. I think those rear shocks were killing me. Yeah, now we just need the front front air shocks because they're definitely really soft. They're definitely definitely valved to be very soft. I saw this Toyota hit me. Yeah, if I get my uh, credit card this week. Order the front front shocks. Um, when I get my paycheck, we'll order the air compressor kit um, for the rear. And I'm gonna order mine from. Uh, <coughs> order the friggin' air compressor kit from JC Whitney because it's like 114 bucks. And holy Jesus Christ. speechless because this is a hell of a lot smoother I mean it's not going boom 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 no it's not doing any of that it, it's riding really nice like like it like it should you know now we just need new leaf springs leaf spring bushings but dude dude so we hit a bump uh, you probably can't really tell a lot on the camera because it's a lot the sensory stuff's a lot different but when I hit a bump the front shakes a little but when the back hits a bump it just goes right over it you don't feel it before it would be the total opposite you hit a bump and then the whole thing would shake to pieces this is really comfortable. Yeah, like the front is like, uh, uh, the back glides over it. God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got those shocks. And I'm really glad I didn't get like jipped on it or something. That would just piss me off. So, $62 and I got two new factory air shocks. And they're Ford factory air shocks. This is freaking amazing. I mean, it, it, it rides almost like the Flex. I mean, I could just shit right now.
So I'm gonna take this road down to the light, take a left, get on TV Highway, and then just head back home basically. And then take a shower and get ready for work. This is, this is gonna ride completely different when I get those front shocks, man. Oh man, I just, I can't wait. Cannot wait, so. Yeah, two more weeks, we'll have that. And uh, we'll have the ride quality issue solved, or most of it. Oh, please don't go yet. Oops, just starting to rain a bit. But yeah, like I can't even feel the road. I mean, I can feel some bumps. That's because, uh, you know, they don't have any air. But for not having air in them, god damn. Damn. Come on, get your minivan ass going. You son of a bitch. And I'm really hoping when I get this air compressor kit, I can pump those bags up. And uh, raise that rear end up because it needs to come up about an inch or two. I think we'll shoot for two inches. Just so that there's plenty of clearance between the axle and the bump stops, and then the, so the shocks will bottom out. I mean, it, I don't think the shocks will bottom out. I think they're made so that. But you know what I mean, I want to get get that raised up, firm up the suspension a bit, and this, this thing will be golden, man. It's going to be like factory. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to mount that control panel, or the panels for the air. I'm thinking like either right up over here, or maybe I'll just screw it into this uh, kick panel here. Maybe I'll do that because they're they're really not that big, and I have plenty of room between uh, the kick panel and my foot. I'll keep, I'll put it in an area where if I get into a wreck, it won't like cut into my knee. That would suck. But uh, yeah, it was a one Pepsi job, and it uh, took me an hour and a half to uh, set up and take the shocks out and clean up and. Yeah, and then now we're just doing the initial test drive. Oh, I'm so happy. God, this thing rides like a dream. Well, almost. I mean, I mean, it's, it's... some fine tuning you could take a nap and then not know you're actually in a moving vehicle and then you add some air firm up the shocks you can minimize the body movement that kind of shit Lift on it, two inch lift. Yeah, look at that lens. That's been sitting in my room for like for like weeks. Yuck. <coughs> Whoa. Now another brain fart. So the stiffer shocks. Um, I think those are more for people who uh, do off-roading because um, they're really they're a, I'm gonna call them a high-energy shot because they ex they extend pretty damn fast and I, that's to you know help keep your wheels on the ground so when you're off-roading you're gonna have a lot of bumps and stuff and you want your uh, wheels to have maximum contact to the ground so that's why when he had those, it was riding really shitty. With the factory shocks, it's a different thing. Uh, they're aimed towards being a car-like ride. You know, it's the top of the line, explore, you know. 
uh, that they want it to ride really smooth. And really, I don't do a whole lot of off-roading. I mean, I just, you know, it's something I'll do occasionally if I want to, you know, go to Brown's Can, go on an area and do a fishtail or something. I might do that. But really, I want it to ride like a car, not a friggin', you know, 18-wheeler. Or not an 18-wheeler, uh, just a car, like it's, it feels like it's riding on its rims. 